All right. Oh, what? Final I'm boss with Jay Hart. Jay Hart. I didn't know that. Hoping to come out of the gates. He's ready to throw bricks. Oh, Jamal Murray, man. Instagram star, baby. I didn't know I was homies with James Harden. Ugh. That's how he throw his brick right there. <laughs> Is that Roman Reigns? Did they win since then? No, they haven't. Good afternoon, everyone. We're about so let's see if the Rockets can stop throwing bricks and not let me score like 115 points. Let me just focus, man. Look at that. Look at the dribbling. Kevin, thank you. Well, that's a great All right, let's see how this one goes. A look at the opening lineup for the Houston Rockets. Westbrook and Harden, the dynamite pair. They're the backcourt. Robert Covington out there with Gordon, and it's Chandler in at the five. And for the Nuggets, the backcourt is Murray and Harris. Man, they really don't follow, like, home is white uniform, and then, like, away is, like, the color ones anymore, right? It's just pretty confusing. I thought they, wasn't, they would not do that during the playoffs, but they actually did most of the time, so... That's when I was a kid. That was like one indication of who's home or who's like, you know, who's like has a home court advantage or whatnot. All right, it's starting looking good. Rocket's still the shittiest team in the West. One of the shittiest teams. Championship caliber team that's won it, and maybe you're in the midst of a dynasty run. It may not matter as much because you know how good you are, and you can win no matter where the venue. Now here's Westbrook. Yeah, Westbrook and Harden was were throwing bricks in the last meeting, man. Minneapolis, pretty hard to watch. In that one, he had the opposition on pins and needles on the defensive end of the floor, recording four steals that night on his way to an overall stellar game. Here's Murray after the made shot from Robert Covington. Uh, he's a tremendous shooter, is Jamal Murray, and nice to see him get to the mid range and knock that one down. In terms of the Rockets, really being like. Westbrook against Murray. Uh, still haven't moved like Harden and Westbrook Ju as of as of today. Like it's not gonna look for them. They, they might as well tank for the next season. There you go, Gary Harris. As of this recording, they've still not been traded. Oh, they lost to Minnesota. To the middle, the Nuggets moving the ball around. Millsap shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot the last two throw. games. They this coach just let me rock like play the first uh, three quarters straight, man. Defense up in the air and then gets the foul. All free throws good for Millsap. Just solid, really one of the very best there is at the free throw line. Here's Houston now. Four point game. This time they met in Houston. It wasn't even close. In Bro, it's crazy. Matchup. And their offense just wasn't ready to compete at that level. Drills the three point. All right, they're not throwing bricks right now. You got to respect Harden's ability to drive. That just makes him exponentially more difficult to guard out at the line. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Yeah, why well, you settle for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that? Murray, the pass to Junior. Al Milson to the inside. Junior kicks to Murray. Jokic trying to free himself up. Murray, good. Well, some good interior crucial points here as Murray's staying active in the paint. And here's Westbrook. He'll bring it up for the Rockets. They trail by three. And, and a story about Jamal Murray. It, he was doing two-a-days for Team Canada. And the coach wanted him to rest, you know, so he confiscates his sneakers. Came back and found him working out barefoot. Well, they might want to check his web browser because I believe he did a search for lock picks because they put bars on the door to keep him out of the gym and he still might try to find a way in. Murray against Covington. Here's Junior. Man, they're locking me down, huh? Don't want to get embarrassed by me. in the game. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling down. Now here's Westbrook. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Over Murray. 
Westbrook finds Gordon over Junior, and it's Gordon missing. The Nuggets leading by five. Some firepower from this offense tonight. Yeah, they've got a nice groove going right now, offense. And that one's good, Jokic. I wonder if in the next gen, I'm still thinking if I might want to change position for sure. I'm just thinking about that right now. I might switch to shooting guard. That's the, that's the next option if I have to. Averaging almost 25 points a game. Washington trying to break free, and Westbrook throws it down hard. I mean, can you imagine three knee surgeries and then pulling off something like that? Westbrook, athleticism personified. And Junior throws it down. Yeah, I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. Harris against Harden. Passes it to Covington. Out to Chandler. Back to Covington. But man, why is he open, man? Oh, a powerhouse move, and he's got a chance for one more at the line. Paul Millsap picks one up. And that's a little lack of fight at the defensive end. Uh, no shit, right? At least on that slam, you're right. That's one way to let a team back in the game. You have to credit the aggressiveness offensively because that's when you make a play when you really need it. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Westbrook passes to Chandler. Back to Westbrook and stolen by Murray. And pushing it up. Here's Denver. And it goes down two points. Junior's got ten. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. Rockets trail by eight. Now Gordon. Eleven points for him in that last game against Minnesota. The Trey. You're not making that, bro. It's Denver with the rebound. They defeated the Pelicans in their last game. You know, those road games are tricky, but they had a good strategy going in and stuck to what they And this is where the game blows up, right? They're watching that game quarter to quarter. They sped up, they slowed down, but they executed in every facet. Here's Gordon following the basket by Junior. Right side, Gordon. A stupendous finish in traffic. Great concentration from Eric Gordon, who caps off the drive with the basket. Harris outside. To the paint. And Junior throws it down. When you find yourself up double digits in the first quarter, you know you're doing something right. Well, dominant that's, so far. That's, that's the like, responsibility of the starters. That's now, that's that doesn't really have to be said. <laughs> in this game, uh, but it's the same kind of high-level contribution. That's a shocker there. Did not expect him to miss from that range. He's got to be shooting close to 60% from there. And that one's good, Junior. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. One man, Wesco still is throwing bricks, man. Down your offense, and he seems to be an anchor here in this quarter. Down low, and Junior throws it down. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch a superstar big man, uh, for your money, though, Bones, is he the best true center in the game? I don't think he's a true center in the sense, G.A., that you can't really go down to the post and have him create his own offense by scoring the basketball. Of course, he's going to create plays for his teammates. I still think A.D. holds that title right now. Trey, good. Just impressed with the teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. And so it's Harden bringing it up for the Houston Rockets. It's a 16-point game. Green passes to Tucker. Oh, oh, he could have. Okay, he could have grabbed that man. The Rockets making a switch here. McLemore is checked in. And it's the Rockets with the ball. Right side, Green shoots over Grant, and that time also a missed shot. D giving him that shot, and that's probably not a good idea, but I guess they knew what they were doing that time. And they have owned the paint so far, and the score reflects it. Yeah, the bully ball tonight has paid dividends. Highly effective down there with the physical play. 
Now here's Rivers. No points in the game yet for him. Tucker dishes to Green. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming. Damn, Jeremy Graham. the free agent race last year. For your money, Greg, who would you have rather take? Kawhi and PG, Kevin Durant and Kyrie. Oof. Wow. <laughs> I tell you what, it's, it's a, a tough, tough call, you know. That Kawhi's is. That got is. a couple finals MVPs. KD's got a couple. Kyrie's got a ring. It's a tough call. I mean, PG is more than capable, man. I, I think it's a I think it's a toss-up, partner. I agree. Yeah, I'm gonna agree. Count it good. Junior's got 22. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. Rivers passes to Tucker. No good for <laughs> Just Tucker. fucking toss it. <laughs> he ain't no, he ain't no uh, splash brother. Barton outside. Man, Barton just fucking bullied everybody, man. He didn't even pass. <laughs> oh, man, this guy. Force him into an awkward release. Bit of an adjustment on the layup. Green inside the three-point line. Second shot opportunity. He takes it up and lays it in. And that's a lesson for the D. Fight harder on the glass. Yeah, you just Fucking can't Barton afford just... to give up second chance opportunities again and again. Here's Craig back to Barton from about 19 feet. Oh, and that one had the right spit on it, and it is good. And the Nuggets lead by 18. Houston's gotten just two of six to fall from three-point range so far in the first. Here we go, one-on-one. -on -one. It's good for his second mate. He's made two of three so far. Defensively, giving up far too many open rhythm looks. Rivers kicks to McLemore. Pass to Green. Shoots over Grant, and it's Green missing. Denver leading by 20. And the Nuggets pushing it up now. Here's Craig. Got it. Good job in the low post. Craig's got his second basket of the game. This is as good as it gets for first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. Jeff Green on the wing. Oh, man. Stop there. Stop. Now, stop the fast break, sort of. He's guarded by Plumlee. Shoots over Grant. They get it back. Pass to McLemore. Back to Green. Just five to shoot. Well, how we defend, bro? That's like... Who's back up. And there's the yeah, ball. Holy crap, man. <laughs> Close that window, bro. Check in for Denver. Ole comes in for Jeremy Grant. And a change for the Rockets. Clemens is checked in. Bull, the pass to Junior. The Rockets pull it in. Coming off that loss against the Timberwolves. Hey, they, they had their opportunities, but let's face it, they choked from the line. Hard to win that way on the road. And you cannot afford to do that. When you're in an opponent's building, you've got to knock down free throws. That cost them. McLemore, no good. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. You're not making that dumbass. And they've won the rebound battle so far, and it's translated to the scoreboard. Yeah, it's not just about stopping the offense in the scouting report. It's about knowing where to be when those shots are going to be missed. And they're doing a nice job on the rebound. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. Like tonight, that all the hustle plays have meant so much to this team. Now just sustain some of that energy and keep comfortable. And again, it's Denver. Nice pass here to set that back. All right, 26 points already. 19 seconds left in the first quarter. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. A floater, oh. <laughs> hand on it. And that massive wingspan coming into play there. Ball uses it to Nice. <laughs> to block Way to go. Beat the time. Defensively, they are in total control. Yeah, the other team a bit concerned here. They're trailing, and the lead seems to be growing. And so is Denver in complete command. Their lead at 20. Look at that block. Oh, that's clean. Their defense has been very effective in locking down Russell Westbrook. And we'll be right back after this. They're off. 
offense another dynamic. And it also helps him preserve some energy for those big moments in the big games. And so far, if you're one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in a second. And guys, we've seen the Nuggets really take control here. <laughs> Why take jump shots when you can get your points? At right? The end? Yeah, that worked wonders for them in the quarter. We'll see what kind of adjustments get made. Hole is out there with Bond. Then it's Will Barton. Then it's... <coughs> oh, this Clemens guy, though. Again, it's the shooting guard position. What the hell? <laughs> for Denver, getting going. <coughs> So it's Denver now. <coughs> he gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, guys, we all know that there are some people who dislike James Harden's style of play. They're bored watching him shoot free throws. He said, I see how teams guard me and find ways to exploit it. I just outthink the game, and I'm faulted for it. Kevin, that may be, but it's hard to argue with the results. Back to you. You're right. There you go. See, you can't win with any centers, man, without any centers. Like, who's, their center is fucking PJ Tucker right now. His confidence and his composure, he has the ability to go on scoring runs like this. And for Houston, they're shooting just 35%. They've got to get better looks. There's the pass to Green. <coughs> Passes to Clemens. Dishes it to McLemore. Lock it six for three. They just pop it again. Damn, he finally made one. Can't talk enough oh, about this fucking time out though. Set up right there. The assist, really the key to that entire sequence. And Denver decides to take their first time out here. Now the superstar players always get the headlines, but you need more great role players, it seems, as you look at the history of champions, to win. Uh, so that being said, Greg, what kind of role players do you look for? You know, Kevin, it, it starts on your best player, and I think you go from there. Obviously, in today's game, spot-up shooting is critically important. And then you got to factor in versatility. You, you need guys that can guard multiple positions, uh, that give you some rim protection, but obviously that can also shoot the basketball. And, you, you, I think it's critical having that instant offense guy coming off the bench as well. To when your team's in a bit of a funk, somebody you can trust to kind of light a fire. Good point. And Junior throws it down. And teammates more and more looking for plays from Murray like that. For Houston, they've gone three of four from the floor here in the second quarter. Doubled by Murray and the wide open shot from Green. House the pass to Green. Beyond the arc. And Give me that. Junior with the rebound. Junior's got his sixth rebound on the night. Yeah, they show He's Steph Curry or what? Where the fuck did he shoot that? Right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now. Massive. Pass to Clemens. Pass to Gordon. Out to the right wing. Harris against Westbrook. Over Harris. Westbrook, no good. The Nuggets have gone five and six so far from the field in the second quarter. Here's Junior. First down on the line, finally. So he'll get a chance at the line. What I love about Junior, he's got grit and tenacity. He's always looking for ways to improve. And the Nuggets with some changes. Okus just checked in, and Paul Millsap is subbed in for bowl. Westbrook against Harris. Up top, Covington. Five points in the game. Westbrook against Millsap, and he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's on Gary Harris. Or you can guess right, or you can guess wrong. And with Westbrook, many times, defenders are wrong. And both free throws good for Westbrook. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Murray dishes to Junior. And one, no. On the shot that yeah. sends him to the line. Robert Covington picks one up. Junior getting aggressive in the paint there and gets his shot off even after getting fouled. But his body control is phenomenal, and his ability to get to the line has always been impressive. That's a huge part of his game. 
feeds it to Harden. And it takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Harden's got eight points. Well, Westbrook keeping his options open on that possession doesn't force the shot and finds a man breaking free. Count that one. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And That's a difference. This team has a uh, has defense. Next to Utah for a meeting with the Jazz. The That's the difference. Right like we're scoring a lot of points, but we're not allowing a lot of points. Can't phase Junior. He's used to playing that physical brand of basketball. Outside Westbrook goes up to the stripe, shoots the three, and it's Gordon missing. Nuggets have gotten nearly everything to fall for them here in the second quarter. They're a great 7 of 8 from the floor. You dig down deep at some of the numbers. Jokic is a much better defender than what he gets credit for. I think we always think about athleticism around rim protection, but sometimes it's just about size and smarts, and he has that. Murray against Harden. I mean, how many spots on the floor is Harden not effective from? I'll tell you, not many. Murray gets to Junior. And a lot of top shot. My goodness. 50 for the game. Yep, he is putting on a show. And here's Westbrook. Harden outside. Good work defensively by Milsap. And Jokic likes physical play. Right, he embraces the contact. Well, you look at his physique, and I think he can absorb a lot of what it is that comes his way. But he's comfortable wrestling. He's got brothers. He knows what that's like. And he also loves to mess around with those press conference microphones, as we see. Chandler outside. Kicks to Harden. Here's the three. Harden missing again. He's cooled down a little bit after draining those two three-pointers in the first quarter. Oh, shit. In the oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> That's his first foul. Grant, he's checked in for Paul Millsap. And a switch here also for Houston. Austin Rivers, he's checked in for Russell Westman. Rivers against Murray. Outside Gordon. Baseline jumper, and it's good off the back of the rim and in. Gordon's got six. When you run the pick and roll like they did right there, it's a thing of beauty as Eric Gordon really gets the best look at the rim on the play. Chandler with the steal. passing way too early, man. And the jam by Harden. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. And the gamble paying off. Basket good. Junior's got 54 points. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. Murray against Rivers. He kicks it to Hart. Over Harris. And he overshot that one, missing. And now the Nuggets. Last break. Harris with the ball. Yeah, the chemistry has been All right. terrific. Really impressed. Let's go, man. Execution. Houston's gotten into trouble with the three ball in the second quarter. We're hitting one of five attempts. Harden the pass to Gordon. Houston moving it around. Again, the miss by Harden. And there's the pass to Covington. Six to shoot. Near the three-point line, it's Gordon. Jump shot is good. Gordon's got four points this quarter. And you know, he's enjoyed the kind of day you expect in terms of shooting the basketball. He can bring them right back into this game. Murray against Rivers. Inside. Oh my gosh, man. Jamal Murray, what the fuck? Just pass it. Rivers surveying the D. In the corner, it's Gordon. And it's off from three-point range. The Nuggets on offense. Here's Junior. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. 
Junior's got 56 points in the game. The Rockets shooting 44% from the field in the second. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. So far, he's hit oh, all the shots at the foul line, going four for four. And you just jinxed it. You know, something I remember from their last game was how good he was at the line. Mason Plumley's checked nice in. Nice defense. Martin comes in nice defense from Mason, Mason Plumley, man. For the Rockets. Mclemore has come he's in. Didn't get the ball. That's all. Okay, well let's check. Oh man, don't tell me he's like, oh man, I'm still outscoring them, man. He's looking to make history here today. Who knows how many points he'll end up with when it's all said and done. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. What is this shot, man? <laughs> All right, we did some valued rest. So <coughs> I'm, yeah, I'm still outscoring the team, man. He's been everywhere. And the way he goes at defenders, he is bound to get to the line just like he did there in that first half. Yeah, almost inviting contact. That oh, that's a bad foul. On full display. So on the floor for Houston. Gordon Gordon are out on the wings. Chandler out there with Robert Covington, and it's Westbrook in at the point. He shot five of six at the foul line. Greg, how special was it for you that you had your number 50 retired at UNLV? You know, that's something that I can honestly say. As a kid, you dream about a lot of things. Winning, you know, playing at the, the highest levels. Uh, that's something I never really fathomed is to, to have your jersey hanging up in an arena. That was a surreal moment, a, a really cool moment, and it was awesome to be able to share it with my family and friends. And people probably uh, don't know that you grew up in Las Vegas, so it was probably doubly special, wasn't it? Exactly. Born and raised. Chandler kicks to Westbrook. Lays it up and banks it in. Westbrook's got six points. He only got this six, is man? Just being an ultra competitor, he gets in there and the defense has nothing to do. Down low, Junior, and Junior throws it down. Pushing the action, getting others involved. He does it time and time again. Nice to play with a point guard that takes pride in playmaking. It makes you move around just a little bit faster to get open spots. Well, the talk at halftime must have been a good one right now. Three straight buckets to start the quarter. Harris outside. Passes it to Jokic. It's rebounded by Houston. Yeah, just the first miss of the half there. They have to be happy three or four to start it off. And Harden gets it to go in on the assist by Gordon. Gordon's got three assists now in this one. Murray, the pass to Jokic, to the middle, Junior, and Junior throws it down. And, and I consider Junior to be a natural athlete. Really impressed with his ability to finish play. Into the third we go, two minutes in now. Pass to Gordon. Oh, man. The kick out to Westbrook. Back to Gordon. Harden outside, three-pointer. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. Wow, five straight buckets coming out of half. They are rolling. The Nuggets have gotten four of their first five second half shots to fall. 80% since the break. And that one's good, Jokic. He has six. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. That one good for two. And amazing what they're doing on offense here. Perfect from the field to start the half. Westbrook against Murray. There's the double team with Westbrook. Pass to Junior. Now, here's Jokic. To the inside. Junior. And Junior throws it down. Now flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. One of his favorite moves right there, guys. Well, they haven't missed from the field, huh? But still, they're still down 42. <laughs>
leans from outside, and the Rockets getting another bucket right there. And nice to see Westbrook rise up and knock that one down. When he has that solid base, it looks good. Murray, the pass to Junior. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Robert Covington picks one up. In the game, he shot six or seven from the line. And both free throws, good for Junior. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. Westbrook kicks to Gordon. Westbrook against Oh, Murray. shit. Shot by Gordon, wide open. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. Their three-point percentage has taken a big leap here in this second half. To the paint. Hits it again. 72 points, baby. What a game. That's 72 points. He's been simply, Greg, sensational throughout this one. Jokic against Harden. Chandler outside. Westbrook scanning the floor. Back to Chandler. And the dunk by Chandler. Yeah, Chandler doesn't have a long way to go, but he gets up for that one. Nuggets have gotten nearly everything to drop this quarter. They're 7 of 8 from the floor since halftime. Murray against Gordon. Here's Junior. And oh, the foul, shit. So at the line for one That's on you, bro. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Well, I know oh, my goodness. mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. Green, he's checked in for Tyson Chandler. And they found the touch from the field here in the second half. It was a struggle in that first. Murray with it. Westbrook picks him up. The pass to Junior. And Gordon over to help. Here's Jokic. And Jokic throws it down. Love to see the pass there from Junior. Get others involved. That attitude is great for the ball club. Westbrook against Murray. Harden outside. Takes the three. No good. And the Nuggets going the other way. And the league's preeminent practitioner of the step back three. James Harden is as good as it gets. And you know, like the sky hook, an unguardable shot. And paired with his dribble drive, a torture chain. It's just hard to believe that someone can perform at such a high level. They've got to thank him for this. League. No shit, right? Definitely gonna score a hundred. Westbrook against Murray. And that's gonna be a travel. Yeah, it's a fucking travel for sure. <laughs> that mistake at this time is tough to come back from. Well, not making things easier on themselves right now, that's for sure. The Nuggets making a switch here. Martin has checked in. And the Rockets making a change here as well. House has checked in. And thanks to that step back, Harden already the all-time leader in unassisted three-point shots. And not to mention four-point plays. And up until recently, teams built elaborate offenses to create their three-point looks. Harden the first to do it one-on-one -on -one with volume and efficiency. And the Nuggets with some changes. Jeremy Grant comes in for Paul Milson. And it's Torrey Craig in for Murray. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for the Rockets. That free throw good from Harden. And really on top of all else Harden does for you at this end, he's a tremendous free throw shooter, around 85% for his career. Clutch. It's Barton with the drive. Yep, it counts. Nicely done. They continue to attack inside. Almost punch him, man. That's 10 points in a row in the paint. You think about the 40th pick back in 2012. Will Barton languished on the bench in Portland for his first two seasons, actually two and a half. And then that trade to Denver, boy, that jump started everything. And with the Nuggets, Barton becoming an immediate contributor. And Brent in recent seasons, their starter at the small four. Yeah, he's an interesting player. He's a, a slender and slightly built player, but excellent at getting out there and rebounding, a tremendous runner at the wing position to play in transition. And that wingspan certainly helps out on a lot of plays, both offensively and defensively. 
This has been a one-sided affair. Yeah, they've done a nice job of extending their lead and maintaining that intensity level. Right now, just shredding through the defense. Junior playing with extreme confidence. And the Rockets with possession here. Here is Harden. He's got 24. And he cuts oh, okay. the deuce. He's still down though. 12 points here in the second half. Uh, feels like the other four guys have disappeared at this point. He wants to be the one to get them back. And yep, another basket. And there's 80 points. Wow. <laughs> Just wow. This guy right now on another level. And another steal for him. And that's his sixth steal of the night. Imposing his will at the defensive end. You love the pressure he's putting on them. Almost had that steal. Yeah, pestering right now, and that's gonna. Damn, it almost got him open though. Mason Plumley's checked in for the Nuggets. Rivers, he's checked in for Houston. Yes, that goes in. Seems like he's got more feel tonight. Like he's really got a good grip on that ball as he's letting it go. Rivers against Barton. It's House outside. Knocks down the three ball. House has got nine. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Yeah, pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. Flat out taking the game over, and there's no way he's going to give it up. Pass to Rivers. Oh, shit. Pass to Green. The fader. Rebound by the Nuggets. See, no centers, man. Junior I got those. Seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Grant the pass to Plumley, and he uses the glass on the way. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Rivers bounce pass. Here's Green. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Hate to say it, but if they're still trailing at the final buzzer, a lot of this is going to be felt by him. His shooting tonight has just been atrocious. Quite a few trips to the line in this one, and he's making them count, going eight for ten at the line so far. And both free throws, good for Junior. Houston's gotten 12 of their points from long range in the third quarter, going four of five shooting. Man, they had a, such a good start. And the officials will call the good shit, right man. Uh, that's going to draw a whistle every time down the floor. Not even close to being a legal screen. Yeah, everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant there. Pass to Craig. Down low, here's Junior, and another one falls! Amazing! And he's been dominant here thus far. Shouldering the offense, GA, really taking it to the opposition. Oh shit, I'm fat. That's clever, that looks bullshit. Oh shit, he found that guy? Damn. The shot by House is no good. And here we go, fast break, Junior's got it. A shot off that time, so Houston will take it the other way. Only with the steal. Good, he hits again. 90, a legendary performance. We'll be talking about this one, Greg, for a long, long time. Here's Clemens. He puts up decent numbers on a nightly basis, averaging about 10 points a game. Not today. And here's Green outside. Houston now working with the new shot clock. Oh, we volleyball that shit. And it's going to be out of bounds. <laughs> the Rockets will retain possession. Conley's checked in for Denver. Because when I play like this in Charlotte, we still like sometimes be on the edge most of the time. So very big difference in defense for sure. Another miss by Houston. I mean, I don't know. Does he look a couple steps slow today? He needs to shake that off and get into the zone and get on the scoreboard. Craig, good. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. House dishes to green. 
to end the drought, and the layup is good. Green's got six points. And you really can't forget about Green's speed. So effective on the drive. Martin passes to Vonley. Here's Junior, and Junior throws it down. And you know what? This guy is just a natural-born scorer. And it's Rivers with the ball. He brings it up for Houston. Outside, Green. With the teardrop. And yes, it's good. He's got eight. Here's Barton. 11 points in the game. Passes it to Craig. Back to Barton. Here's Junior. Bumley trying to break loose. And that one's good, Junior. He doesn't look satisfied with the lead right now. He wants more, and he looks like he's going to get it. Pass to McLemore. Puts up a three. Here's Clemens. Second chance shot. And foul. Why the hell are you going to let that guy rebound the ball, man? The free throw line. And yet a defender all over him. It's his first trip to the line. And so far this season, it's, it's been average at best at the line. Only 71% as a shooter. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. Two seconds separating the shot clock and game. And Junior throws it down. Well, Barton had a good feel about what was happening defensively, and his teammate was wide open. 20 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Here's Clemens. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. This guy's just ball hogs. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting. <laughs> this guy has the nerve to do that, man. The Rockets have been getting it done at the line, ten for twelve, and the Rockets making a change here, and that's good as he hits both of his shots. Just four seconds left in the third. I'm deep, and no good on the last second attempt this time. And so, guys, it's Junior making things happen for the Denver Nuggets. They kept going to him again and again. And he delivered with a monster quarter. And don't go away. We'll be right back. Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game. And it's presented, as always, by State Farm. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them and, and oh, what a beautiful feat. That was rough. Just talk about it all the time, but to be able to play. Plumley, he's checked in for About three minutes. All right. Comes in for Finally, a team That's outscored me. Jeez, man. Houston with a big group substitution here. And not a single free throw attempt in that first half, but he has been far more active since the break and drawn some fouls. You've got Plumley, and it's Craig in at the two spot. That's the group on the floor for Denver. And that one goes incredible. He's been absolutely ridiculous in this game. You get the sense he just can't. Oh, are you serious? There's no question that Russell is one of the top 10 athletes we have in the league. On full display there. Houston, a whole new five on the floor. Well, him dominating the offensive end is what accounts for this lead. Just a very difficult guy to stop once he gets going. He swipes the ball away again. And he's just been able to anticipate their every move. Yeah, you're right. An absolute pest on the defensive end. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. And the gamble paying off. Knocks it loose. Outside Gordon. Over in the corner, Chandler. Carroll kicks to Gordon. To the middle, here's Mwabach, and he jams it after taking the nice feet on the run. That's just great vision from Gordon on that pick and roll. Saw the floor well. Pass to Craig. One fifty-one left in the fourth quarter of this one. 
The Nuggets moving the ball around. Junior, it's rebounded by Houston. Nabbing another steal. He's making history. Tied for third most steals in a single game. Incredible tenacity. He continues to hound the ball. Here's Clemens. Chandler outside. The pass to Gordon. Shot clock at six. Shot from the top of the key. The shot comes out. And Denver the other way now. All right, let's see. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance. And it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for Denver. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. And so taking a look at their record, a nice milestone they'll be picking up tonight. 30 wins on the year now. And on the season, this is going to be their third win in four games against this team. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Junior. It was tough to cover all game long. One of those nights when he felt like nobody could stop him, and they didn't. He swipes the ball away again. He's been a defensive terror all night long. I've never seen anything like it. And he's actually tied the record for the most steals in a game. And now he sits alongside Kendall Gill and Larry Keenan. 11 steals remaining the all-time benchmark for defensive. Damn, I really want to break that record. All called on Junior. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus. We'll go to the line to shoot two. And so he hits both. 35 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Passes it to Junior. He got it again! Sensational! And that score moving him clear into third all-time for scoring in a game. Well, G8, you just knew it was a matter of time the way he's been playing. I'm sure he's not finished either. Yeah, that's a bad move there. Stops the clock and puts the other side on the line. Guys, some great passing from him. Yeah, everybody's touching it, and you're starting to see the assists pile up because the rhythm is on display offensively. Two points. That one goes. Finishing strong. This is how you want to close things out. Yeah, definitely putting a stamp on this one. A very, very decisive victory for the club tonight. Houston gets it back. Yeah, maybe a little luck. Maybe a little bit of heart. Both of those at play here. He's oh, we didn't break it. <laughs> So it's the Nuggets winning this one easily. They poured it on a night. Dominant showing in front of the Another 110 Nuggets. points plus game. That's crazy. And you know, this game could really be a... All right. Oh, what's this? You know. Oh, shit. All right. Uh... Oh, influence the trade. Oh, if I had this in the horn in Charlotte, I would have blown this thing up, man. Uh, I really don't have anything, really. Monte Morris, so. Uh, yeah, Michael Parr Jr., man. He's one of the good. That's pretty, pretty unfortunate for him. I didn't know Troy Daniels was in Denver. I'm not sure if this is true though. I don't know. I like. I kind of like this team. I won't change anything. I'm not gonna lie. I won't change anything. All right. Our next game will be against the Memphis Grizzlies. So tune into that one, guys. Thanks.